Hey everyone, how's it going? It is I, the real Randy Chavez, coming at you today with the VV Omi update video. If you guys, if you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. I love y'all. Everyone say hello to Dashi. Hello, Dashi. Commenting, liking, and subscribing is a free way to help support the channel. Non free ways are Patreon and smashing that super thanks button down below. And uh, we'll get right into it. There's not a ton to go over today. We'll start with the Omi. Omi actually down about 6.9% on the day. Comment nice down below the 6.9. I know it's not in the direction we would like, unless you want to buy more, which is always. 940,000 in volume today, so really not that bad of a day volume-wise, but again, a lot of that really is sell sell volume, and some people's uh, some people's buy orders are probably being gotten, they're probably being filled, which isn't gotten. Uh, typically, we did always go between 00061 and 00071 over the past couple of weeks. We had dipped, uh, we had gone above that, so I think 00074 a couple of times, figuring, again, could have broken up, could have broken down. Wanted to break it down back into that pattern at triple zero six seven eight right now. And despite what's happening in a couple days where we have more added utility, you might actually see this go down a little bit more. We're not too far behind or too far different where we were you know, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, over the last 90 days, though, this is uh, we have been at triple zero five eight, and that was over in November. So last month we were at triple zero five eight. So I guess we could retest that low. Does it go back there? Does it? Is this where it stays? I don't know. Uh, at some point in January, if um, you know, start start filming stealing Manhattan. Link down to the book down below, and I get a couple of extra checks. Uh, I might get a little bit more Omi. I might not. I might just enjoy them, enjoy life. I will keep y'all posted. But currently one hundred seventy six million. Uh, I'd, I'd like to get to one eighty. Uh, I'd like to get to 200, but you know, we'll, we shall see. It is kind of a meh day in the markets today. Uh, Bitcoin down 1.5, Ethereum down 0.8, uh, BNB up 1, uh, Solana down 3.8, and then the rest of it's kind of okay with the exception of Avalanche, which is down 5.4. So again, a little bit of a mixed bag here. We do have some news coming in from the other part of the world. Other parts of the world. Uh, we do have from Jason A. Williams, has a quarter million followers over on the Twitter, saying, breaking news, 90-year-old Saudi Arabian... Uh, Salafic cleric writes a fatwa deeming Bitcoin acceptable under Islam. That is about 1.8 billion people getting the green light saying Bitcoin is okay. How many of those people are actually going to go and buy it now? I, I don't know, but this is fairly e eerie timing given that there's probably only a couple months left before those ETFs are approved. I would say it could happen any week now. It could happen early Jan first week in January, or they could wait closer to the halving. That is what that is what Earth 2 is doing. Uh, they are going over and they said that, hey, we're going to launch our essence token over on, uh, you know, tier one and these major exchanges closer towards the halving. So I can only guess that's what Vivi and Akomi is doing with their OMI token as well. But for people who are going and taking their OMI and trying to uh, cash in on that utility over on the app, uh, they had a little bit of trouble today. I think it was because of Immutable X, but Akomi set out a how, how to do list saying if you're experiencing stuck, Pending deposit transactions with Immutable X, uh, Bridge Site, take the following steps. You just have to clear activity tab data. This will allow the incomplete transaction in your wallet to cancel, so your funds will be returned with no fees incurred. And then you can edit the gas fee. When completing your transaction using the bridge, you have to change the gas fee to aggressive. And once that's done, that should help. But step-by-step -step graphics are in are over on, on Twitter. Just follow Comey on Twitter. You'll see that. Uh, and the team will continue to work with Immutable to ensure that the issues are resolved. I have heard from a couple people uh, today that, and people that have been in crypto for a while saying like, hey, I've been in crypto, I'm familiar with this, but bridging to Immutable X has not been fun. This is like straight up not having a good time. Chavez, what can we do? Uh, currently, up until we go and we get another way to buy OMI on the app, there's really not much we can do. Uh, right now, it's really just having that bridge. That's the only thing we're able to do. Uh, just to get it on the app, or you could buy from someone that's selling. I think the people that have really wanted to sell some of their OMI have kind of sold by now. Uh, I've, I've cleaned most of those guys out months ago. And you go and take a look. Okay, well, what does that mean? Are we never going to have another way? We will have another way that's just going to take some time. They just want to go and roll out some more utility first. That VVverse that they're working on. So there's just a lot of parts. Everything's kind of moving at once. Now, that doesn't mean that everything's going to be completed at once. Even if something, two things are completed at the same time, most likely they'll roll one thing out and then something else after. Like, let's just say, and don't take this as like, uh, I, I know what's going on, but let's say they have VVverse, hey, ready to roll out. And at the same time, they have, you know, Omi to Gem ready to roll out. I don't think they're going to release those on the same day or even the same week. They roll one thing out, wait a couple weeks, even though it uh, the other thing is done. 
hey, people have digested this by now, they're familiar with it. All right, now let's roll this out. Um, that is for updates and that is for uh, different utilities rolling out. I don't think that has anything to do with Vivi going and saying, hey, uh, you know, we have music. Okay, here's, here's a jukebox. Okay, here's vinyl records. I, I think they would uh, go ahead and roll out those things uh, as, as planned, as opposed to just waiting timing wise. Uh, in case you missed my video the other day, I think it was like a day or two before Christmas. Uh, I think it was Festivus I actually released it. Uh, David interview came out and yeah, jukebox and, uh, and vinyls and we're able to go and play these, uh, these amazing music pieces of music in our cars, in the Vverse. I can't wait when we actually get to do it at that level. I, I, I don't know. It might, might take another couple of months. I know another round of beta invites was supposed to go out recently. I was among them and then they canceled those and they said, Hey, you'll, you'll be in the next round, most likely after the first of the year. For those that are new and don't know, um, you know, there are obviously trolls out there. Um, there is a fake account of David Yu going around saying that Alex has moved to MTO agency and he's gone. He is still with us. He will likely still be with us for either as long as he wants or until they do heavy marketing, until they need to change pace. But either way, he is still with us. Do not listen to any of the trolls. If you go and say, oh, what is this? Click on the person's account. That person doesn't have like, I don't know how many David has, like 20, 40,000 followers. You know, it's, it's not them. Um, so Alex, like I said, Alex is still with us. I thought we were going to get another member in the gold logo silver holders telegram group and just the, the private groups there. But, uh, when Vivi had decided, Hey, this person Pei Ling, or uh, that's their account name anyway, uh, had gone on and was gifted a gold silver Vivi logo for the 12 days of Vivi, the 12 winners. Um, that person just decided, you know what, I'll just take the free $4,000 and sell it. So they sold it. Like, I think they sold it for like 43, 4,400, give or take. Uh, that was bought up very, very quickly. And the person that got that not only has the 444, but also has the 333. So that's really, really cool of them. Uh, we do have Venom 2099, the first appearance of Venom 2099 coming out. That's on 2 January at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That is over on a Tuesday. We do have Harris Ryan. I, w I went over this a little bit yesterday, but I did want to break it down in more detail. Yesterday, I happened to go over to it in like an hour and a half stream. Not everyone watches those videos, but Harris Ryan goes and says, from now, uh, a year from today's date, what do you think will happen to your VV portfolio? Is it going to 2x? Is it going to 5x? Or is it going to 10x? The final results were pretty mixed. You had 41% saying that it'll do a 2x, 23% like myself said it'll do a 5x, and then 35% said it'll do a 10x. Obviously, things in crypto, I, I've seen recently, and again, what one of the ways that I could go and engage this is that I'm getting a lot more offers now to make videos and, and do other things for other companies. Just, most other companies are trash. Uh, so I, I just wouldn't do that for, for any trash company. But every now and then someone comes along, oh, okay, this will be cool. And then, you know, negotiate on price, do whatever. But, you know, for in the last bull market, I get those types of messages every day. Uh, in the bear market, those become less and less. And maybe you get like maybe one a week, sometimes maybe even, you know, just one or two a month. Uh, but now obviously as things are kicking off, I get a lot more of those messages. And then I see a lot of people over on Twitter saying, just swept the floor on these things. Can't remember the last time I've done that. I've seen that message multiple times from multiple different people. So you have people in and outside of Vivi going and saying, Hey, and it's wild that people do that outside of Vivi because there are, I mean, obviously some projects are better than others. And let's say like Pudgy Penguins, Pudgy Penguins. And again, I don't know all the ins and outs of it. Uh, but that is, seems to be fairly popular. I think there's a couple of physical pudgy pen penguins in, in like Walmart and stuff. Um, so obviously that's a fairly well-known brand in the, uh, you know, web, web three community in, but there are people doing it to prize like, what is this? This is, this is silly. You know, like they're pixelated animals that have like no meaning. There's no utility. There's no story. There's no lore. It's not like I can picture people doing that with, with Brock's, uh, you know, his fiches because there's an incredible story behind that. There's lore behind it. Brock finished like his first roadmap, I think in like a month, uh, you know, constantly doing uh, giveaways and not, not just giveaways. I mean like airdrops for people, does giveaways on top of that. Um, but I can picture people doing stuff like that, but they do it for the most obscene things. And, you know, once that digital collective, collective narrative comes back and you have a lot more people coming into not just NFTs in general, which, which will happen just because that's the future, um, but I mean like actually digitally collecting some things with major IP, it's only a matter of time. When does that happen? I don't know. 
Um, but I feel like I'm being fairly conservative when I answered Harris Ryan's question and I was like, oh, it's a 5X that I think it'll do from here. And again, that's just a VV portfolio. And that's just, again, that's just on digital collectibles. That is not including people that are already, you know, over the last couple months, you know, making money, you know, uh, a lot of these altcoins, a lot of these meme coins, not even alt or meme, meme not even meme coin season. Uh, but people have been making a lot of money on those. And, and it's not just like, oh, a couple hundred here. It's like a couple thousand here, you know, 20,000 there. And people are going pretty hard with it. So a lot of that money, again, you what you do when you get a lot of money, usually you make it with high risk stuff. You put it into some lower risk stuff. Now, again, you could take a, you know, honey bear. I don't know if that's a real project, but you could, you could sweep the floor on honey bears, whatever it is, whatever DeFi project you have out there. And... You know, you could spend 20000 on them, sure, sweep the floor. It could pay off big or it could not. Or you could go and just get, you know, eight partner statues. I think eight partner statues is much better investment than some random PFP project. Uh, I would say, I, I would bet dollars and dollars, I'd bet my, <laughs> bet my life on that. But again, this is not financial advice. This is just how I see things. And again, as you go and you make more money elsewhere, especially in crypto, a lot of it will flow into VV, especially for the peeps that uh, are already on VV. So Elon Musk the other day had gone on and posted a tweet saying, whatever happened to dot, dot, dot. And it's a, it's a picture over there in which you can't see it right now. So let me go and darken that a little bit. Uh, it'll say like diamond hands and hodl. And it's just talking about NFT saying whatever happened to him. And David Yu, just being a big fan of Elon Musk, happened to repost it. Now, did he repost it just because he's a big fan or did he repost it because, oh, hey, guess what? I really, really, uh, <laughs> uh, I want to repost this teasing that we have a SpaceX agreement uh, or or even an X agreement because, you know, X needs quite a bit of money. SpaceX is fine. SpaceX is doing quite all right with their government contracts. But, uh, you know, X is not doing all right as far as revenue is concerned. So I could picture Elon saying, oh, yeah, sure, we'll take you know, this million dollar deal and uh, you could have access to our stuff. I feel like that would be again as a speculation, obviously, you know, do I know we have any type of SpaceX or Tesla or any type of Elon Musk partnership. I have no idea. I just think it'd be really cool. And if anyone, again, anyone that knows Elon is just a big nerd. David's a big nerd too. We're all big nerds. He could go and show any one of these videos. He can go and show any post from the community and he would be like, okay, that works. As someone that has seen, I don't know, like a hundred hours minimum of, of Elon talking, I could picture David going, yeah, this is what we've done so far. This is what we can do. And this is, these are uh, the numbers that, that you could expect in the next year. And I could picture Elon saying, okay, sure. And that's it. Done deal. Uh, so you have Mama Kathy Wood dumping a lot of her stonks yesterday and buying up some Bitcoin funds in ARCW. I just thought that was really interesting and y'all should know. Uh, we did get a push notification on Vivi for OMI, which I thought was really cool. It was just about season one and the marketing implications of making all users aware. I just thought that was really good. So shout out to Vivi for doing that. Uh, also, shout out to Mark Hamill. Uh, we had VV Magic going and posting the other day, sharing one of my favorite yearly traditions, going to this house for the last four to five years. He steps his game up every year, and it's just a uh, a picture of just a house with crazy lights on it and having Star Wars music play and a Star Wars movie play like in the center. And Mark Hamill goes and says, wow, nice job. David had gone on and reposted that. Just thought that was heckin' cool. Uh, so Crypto R Us uh, yesterday had gone on, on a video. He was talking about something and somebody mentioned a Comey. He's like, oh, Comey. Uh, yeah, they're likely never going to come back up. Like meaning that he has not kept up with the project and really doesn't know what's coming. I had debated about spamming some of his socials or like Twitter or whatever. Be like, oh, hey, guess what a Comey's doing? I think Omar actually had gone on and uh, tagged him in a couple of things. I don't know if he saw it or not, but... You know, comment down below if you think that would be a good idea, spamming socials. Hey, Akomi and Vivi are actually doing this. They're actually doing X, Y, and Z. And we have some utility now. More coming in a couple of days. Uh, just obviously he was talking about something that he just wasn't informed on. When the clock's back two years, he, he would have been heavily informed of what was going on. But obviously now he is not. So it's just an idea that I'd had. Uh, Reverend Alex G was on Spaces yesterday. He mentioned on how Disney would love for Vivi to release certain collectibles when the tech is much better to do more animation. Meaning that, hey, we have a bunch of amazing characters and we want you to release a couple of things, but we just kind of want you to wait until the tech's just a little bit better. Like maybe wait until Vivi-verse comes out and you could do something with that and then we can go and release certain things. What are they hiding for? What are they waiting? Uh, what stuff do they have rolled up their sleeves? I'm not 100% sure, but I am 
quite positive that Vivi and Disney relationship is very, very, very close. Uh, specifically, one license that Alex had mentioned is Pee Wee Herman, and he just isn't sure when that's going to be released. But comment down below if you like Pee Wee Herman. He had also mentioned that the Batmobile was probably a prototype or still waiting on its release. Remember, we've had teases of that Batmobile for like years now, and we still haven't gotten it. So I'm, I'm ready. I'm, I'm waiting. Uh, Banksy is still there, but just not sure when it'll release. And more Batman collectibles are also going to be coming to Vivi. Uh, which ones? I'm not sure. Please give me Bane. Please give me Bane. Please give me Bane. Um, comment down below which Batman collectible you would like. Oh, and also we're getting more comic brands. I don't know which ones. I... There's this one comic that I read years ago called Squarriors, and that was so cool. It's about this little army of squirrels, and they are warriors, so they are scorriers, and they had to deal with rats and cats and chipmunks and other things, and it, it was just awesome. I don't think anyone else in the world had read that comic, but I did, and it was cool. Um, outside of that, obviously, you would love some mangas. You would, God, I'd really love Pokemon Adventures. would be amazing. Uh, Attack on Titan, My Hero Academia. There, there's so much good anime out there. I would just... Really love a couple of those things. Also, happy birthday, Stan Lee. Today would have been his 101st birthday. And I, uh, to celebrate, I happen to go and get a Sub-100 War Machine. Uh, just because, again, Marvel character and Stan Lee. It wasn't a crazy good number. It was just number 94. But it's still, you know, I enjoyed it. Uh, Coca-Cola today. Shout out to them. They, they're collab with Vivi and their most recent digital drop was a uh, success. They sold out $88,000 worth of stuff in about 15 minutes. So good for them. And speaking of Coca-Cola, there's actually a contest. So get ready to unleash your creativity because they're thrilled to announce their Coca-Cola vending machines AR photo contest. Just post a photo or video on X or Instagram of a Coca-Cola vending machine digital collectible next to a physical vending machine. Tag VV official and use hashtag ha use hashtag VV Coca Cola. Entries close on 2 January 2024 at 11:59 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. They'll pick three of the best photos videos to win past Coca Cola digital collectibles. Uh, so that's really cool that you get free stuff from that if you win. Winners plural will be announced on or around 5 January on X and Instagram. So uh, that's really cool. Um, I have a couple of ideas, but. Um, Comment down below your ideas. We have VV my homie saying to make from Meta uh, Meta Mona saying quote to make everyone happy is a very hard task, but somehow there's something here that people love and they're not going away, and I think part of that has to do with you. End quote. She was just talking about David Yu. So uh, Meta Mona goes in and responds, "You're absolutely right, and I'll take it a step further by expressing my thoughts that I've held back to share." Building a startup of this magnitude isn't something everyone gets. It's not just about the initial idea. It's about constantly having to re-strategize via the direction, the team, or even the core vision. And let's not forget the implications of external factors like the upcoming regulations, global inflation, evolving Web3 tech infrastructure. This isn't a simple path. In Web3 and crypto, we all know the risks when we jumped in. Uh, there were never promises of immediate wins. It's always been a choice to stay on or to get off the ship riding the volatile waves. But one thing's clear to me, and I say this as someone with no stake in Vivi, Vivi isn't in the business of failing. The captain doesn't wake up with a mission to disappoint the world. His dedication and most likely his surprise at, at how much people love Vivi only adds to his drive to succeed. So as an outsider, it's disappointing to see the lack of understanding among the naysayers. This journey requires the support of those who are in it for more than just the immediate wins, and regardless of the outcome, because of this path, like any innovation, holds its own uncertainties. Agreed. So one of my New Year's resolutions for 2024 is to go and be the number two uh, on Stacker for sub-100 Marvel collectibles. And I am pretty close. I'm at number three right now. I'm only 10 away from tying the number two. Uh, they have 129 sub-100 Marvel collectibles. I have 119. But it does look like I will reach that, hopefully in Q1, unless this person just goes super above and beyond uh, and just happens to get, like, another hundred of them. Uh, and then, obviously, I'll never catch Dr. Profit. He has 555. That dude is a mad lad. Oh, also, for anyone that was watching CNBC this morning, you, you like me, would have seen a grayscale ad for buying Bitcoin. Ha 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 ha, good times ahead. Shout out to Mr. MC1 saying, the Coca-Cola on Vivi official remains work in progress with my friend Silicon Secure's favorite 88. He has three out of the four. 
uh, of them at numbers 88. So he's looking for the last one. Uh, whoever gets that, um, he'll probably buy it for a decent penny. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Comments are good for the YouTube algorithm. Everyone say bye-bye to Dashie. Bye-bye, Dashie. I love you guys. Goodbye. Meow, 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 meow.